Cool. You guys alright? You guys cool? Yeah. Good, good. Um, I've, had, I've had a bit of a weird day today, right? Um, today, I did a, probably the most British thing I think I've done in the last couple of years, if not my whole life. Um, I was coming here, I was walking down one of the adjacent streets, and as I was walking up, I noticed walking towards me were a group of kids, young kids, about 12, 13, and they were the rough kind, you know, the, the ragamuffins type, right? <laughs> And as they're walking, right, uh, some of the kids, they started punching and kicking some of the cars that were parked along the street. Now, obviously, these cars don't belong to me, but it's someone's possession. So I thought, no, I'm not going to have that. So I stopped and I went, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> and one of the kids looked at me and went, what? <laughs> and I could tell by the look in his eye, he had absolutely no fear. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was shitting myself. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, at that precise moment, I felt like a prostitute with issues. Because <laughs> all I wanted was a hug, but deep down, I knew I was going to get fucked. <laughs> and that's when I did the most British thing I think I've ever done. I looked at this little kid and I went, oh, sorry, wrong person. And I crossed the road. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, teenagers scare the fuck out of me, man. They do, right? Because I see in the news the whole, like, teenage knife crime, teenage gangs. That, that scares me. Because I remember when I was in high school, which wasn't that long ago, things were so different. Like, if we had an argument, we didn't shoot each other, didn't stab each other. You know what we did? We cussed each other's mums. <laughs> do you remember that shit? Bring that shit back, man. The most effective way to solve any argument, you ain't gotta shoot him, you ain't gotta stab him, just tell him his mum's a fat bitch and call it a day, right? <laughs> like, even now to this day, me and my mates, we still have your mum jokes to solve our battles, you know? Like, like the other day, I heard the best your mum joke ever, right? My two best friends, they got into an argument and they were going back and forth, they were going, your mum, bruv, your mum too, blood, your mum, blood, right? <laughs> then one of my mates went, bruv, bruv, your mum's so lanky, she did a car wheel and kick God in the chin. <laughs> Hold on, that wasn't the killer one, right? The killer one was the, was the response. My other mate, you went, oh yeah? Your mum's so ugly, even still it wouldn't bang her. <laughs> and it was hilarious, man. <laughs> even more so because they're twins. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But now it's different, I man. You've got, you got young teenagers in their gangs, man, you know, stabbing each other, you know? And what's even more concerning for me is, like, the government's approach to, like, the whole, like, teenage knife crisis. You know, like, there's solutions, like, ASBOs and curfews and youth groups. They think that's a way to get young teenage boys away from knives. No, it's not, okay? If you want to get young teenage boys away from knives, you have to imagine you were a young teenage boy yourself. So you have to think, what's the one thing in life that young teenage boys really hate? Gay people. <laughs> Not, not having to go at gays, I'm saying young teenage boys, they're really silly and immature. Whether they realise it or not, they are the most homophobic people on the planet. They hate gays. And that's the solution. <laughs> Get gay people to endorse knives. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> it's so simple, it's beautiful, man. <laughs> Just get a random picture of Alan Carr teabagging Gok Wan, right? <laughs> and print it on every single knife. I guarantee these young boys, they'll be so scared of knives, don't be able to buy their toast in the morning, okay? <laughs> oh, uh, that's not having to go at gays, though, because I know yeah, you have to, you have to like, watch what you say nowadays, innit? You, know? um, you have to watch what you say a lot when it comes to like, stuff like race as well, you know? I've noticed that racism, right? It's, it's weird. Like, it, it's different in the UK at the moment. Like, it's not how it used to be. Like, for example, like, I don't think black people are the main sufferers of racism anymore. Mm -mm. We have passed on the baton. <laughs> you know the main sufferers of racism are now? Not black people, not Jewish people, not Muslim people, not Polish people. They get lots of shit too, right? <laughs> but the main sufferers, the people who get racism and discrimination chucked in their face every single day. Gingers. <laughs> in fact, ginger is the new nigger. <laughs> it is. They even use the exact same letters. That's not coincidence, that's fate, man. <laughs> but I've done my research, right? If you look at some of these old racist black words, they're just anagrams of new ginger ones. <laughs> right? Like, nigger is an anagram of ginger. A negro, orange. <laughs> I've been here for Kane, thank you.